Hey guys, Nick here. So this is part two of our uh, text or string manipulation uh, video or series where we go through some basic Excel functions like the left, the right, and the mid function, and we translate it and how to run that in Nime. Um, so a few things, if you missed the first video, you should check it out because we go over the concept of an index within a, uh, a, s a string column or index of characters within a string um, which you'll need to understand what we're gonna run next and how to run these functions but um anyways if you understand that concept you won't really need it for this video you can you can just keep watching you don't have to watch the first one but let's keep going so in the first video we took these store codes and we broke out the uh the state so the first two characters from the store code using the left function in nine so then the next step is to run the length function and the right function. So we're running the length function first uh, because it's going to be needed to figure out or to run a right function. So we need the length function first because we need to understand uh, the length of the strings we're working with. Because really what we're going to do is we're going to tell Nime, find the length of this, of this string, right? And after you've got that length, just grab the last two characters um, from that length, or the latest two characters from that length. Um, but technically, if you think about it, we're going to run it a bit differently, in or conceptually, in that what we're going to do is we're going to say, Nime has this, this substring function, um, where you can feed it a start and a length, parameter along with the string parameter or you can just feed it the string and the start parameter so what happens with when you only feed the string and the start parameter but you don't delineate the length parameter what happens is that nine will start at the start parameter you give it or at that index of the start parameter and then it'll grab everything to the right from from that to the right so what you've got to do, what we're going to do is we're going to say, instead of giving it um, the length minus two and then go out to, we're just going to say, g grab everything from the length minus two. And then, I mean, that's really it, right? That'll accomplish our goal. Uh, so first I broke out that length function into its own node just so you guys can see it in action. I think sometimes it's easier to see step by step versus the whole final output of multiple steps. So the length function is literally just length. Sorry, that's my little my little homie Leo. I think somebody's at the door. Um, but anyways, the length function, all you need to feed is the column that you want the length output for. So here we just have the length of the store code because that's what we're looking for. Um, and we're going to append the results of that into a new column called store ownership len. I'm calling it len because in Excel the length function is just len, L-E-N. Um, but anyways, we're going to assume we just type that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute this node and then we'll look at the output. And now you can see the the length under store ownership length is eight characters for each of these strings which makes sense that they're all eight because like we went through in the first video each of these store codes is uniform in the fact that it's made up of the store state the store state the store number and the ownership type and from there you can see that the store state is always two characters long the store number is always four characters long and then the ownership is always two characters long. So effectively you've got two, six, and then eight. So the length for each of these should be eight. So it makes sense that we see that output store ownership len of eight for each. So let's move on. Now we're gonna take that store ownership len and we're gonna combine it, that length function into our substring function. So now what we're saying is for the store code column, start at the length of the store code minus two so eight minus two will give you six which seems a bit contradictory to 
it seems a bit contradictory to what we were saying in in the previous video where the index is from 1 to 8 in Excel but it's technically 0 to 7 in NIME so what we're saying is you're going from a length of 8 right minus 2 you're starting at position 6 so that's why the CO will pop out from the store code or the FO from this one because the actual length is 8 and then that 2 will get you to that position 6 I hope that makes sense <laughs> if it doesn't you guys can uh, tear me apart in the comments um, if anybody wants to shed some light on anybody more experienced than me that wants to shed light on why I might be off I totally would appreciate it um, and then I'll update the video with notes accordingly um, under the description but anyways let's get back to the work and we're gonna run this substring where we're saying give us a store code and then start at the length minus two characters because we know the store ownership type is always two characters right um, we're not feeding it a length parameter because we just want from the start point and everything to the right so we're gonna append that output as a new column called store ownership we'll hit apply we'll hit OK and then we'll execute and now let's look at the output so now you can see the store ownership is effectively two characters long and then we'll move this column over the store code just to do some auditing so this should be JV JV matches this should be JV JV matches FO FO matches so that's that's it folks that's how you run the right function within NIME so now that we've done that we can move on to part three uh, the third video where we're gonna go through the mid function so we can pull out the store number from within the store code uh, so again drop any comments if anybody can shed some light on why or on how to make my uh, my logic a bit more clear on that length minus two uh, more than welcome it if you guys have more questions just drop it in the comments again if not I'll catch you on the next video